Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European markets for the trading session Tuesday, the 4th of April 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's uh, see how markets are faring. You have the uh, Asian markets mixed overnight. You have the uh, Nikkei certainly coming uh, under pressure, severe pressure, down 0.9%, certainly wiping out the gains of the year. You have the Hang Seng and the Shanghai higher, uh, certainly uh, moving higher there uh, and propelling higher off the lows. Now let's just look at the actual Nikkei itself. Nikkei chart is, is interesting given the fact that you are now coming into support for the Nikkei. Uh, at present, okay, so uh, at present you are looking for a potential bounce. Now the Nikkei is into support along, obviously you've got gap fill support and horizontal support, so a bottoming tail certainly was put in there. You have unfilled gaps above one, two, okay, so two unfilled gaps certainly potentially needs targeting. Given the fact that the Nikkei is into support along with the USD JPY, you can see here no lower lows on the USD JPY. Now the USD JPY certainly looking to push higher. Now Mr. Harker, Fed Harker, certainly hawkish overnight. Uh, it seems that the uh, Trump uh, healthcare bill certainly is back on the agenda now. Uh, whispers and talks of uh, the Freedom Caucus certainly coming to some sort of agreement now. And therefore, you are looking for a, a, a rally in the dollar and the reflation trade certainly kicking back in. So USDJPY is into support. Nikkei is into support. You are looking for a rally in US equities. Okay, so beware. Okay, you are looking for a potentially powerful short squeeze on US equities. So uh, my understanding and my interpretation is, uh, and I've actually closed my short since morning. Uh, I've already nailed 116 points this week. So uh, amen and, and, and immense gratitude there. But again, uh, I know when to play defense. Now last week I was uh, certainly very aggressive on the short side. I mean, I think I lost almost 200 points, but I still finished up with plus 76 points of the week. So if I weren't as aggressive on the short side, I would have been up almost 300 points last week. So again, it's, it's knowing when to sort of pull the um, pull back early as a trader and allow the markets to do what they have to do. And then obviously you can get aggressive and, and start to position yourself accordingly. So at present, USD JPY is into support, Nikkei into support. Therefore, I'm going to refrain from shorting this market, okay? Certainly going into the uh, bullish camp. Okay, now for now, uh, certainly looking for a move higher with USD JPY and Nikkei leading. And obviously with the Shanghai index as well, as I bring the Shanghai now, Shanghai certainly has bounced off gap fill. Okay, you have an unfilled gap above for the Shanghai. So Shanghai index certainly moving higher. Now, uh, this so-called talk of uh, Mr. Z and uh, Mr. Uh, Trump certainly meeting this week again. Uh, maybe markets have certainly talked it down to talk to the, the markets down. Certainly uh, more than uh, more bearish than they should be. And don't be surprised if you see a potential short squeeze in the Shanghai and a potential thrust higher back up to 444, E4444, 444, okay? On that note, in terms of economic data this morning, let's just have a look. You have retail sales out of the Eurozone coming in stronger than expected. So bear that in mind. PMI data out of the UK again on the weaker side. But again, that's sent sterling lower and therefore helping the FTSE 100 to a large extent. Okay, so as we all know, a weaker sterling helps the actual exports and that's certainly helping at, at present. Now, <clears throat> yesterday it was all about Gibraltar, okay, the Brexit uncertainty and the, um, the spat between the uh, <clears throat> Spanish and the UK. Again, that certainly hurts sentiment, obviously, given the fact that the uh, Brexit uncertainty certainly seems to be increasing. And, and traders don't like and, and traders, investors don't like uncertainty. So, again, that certainly is a factor as well. You can see Euro, uh, Euro uh, GBP USD from 1.255 down to 1.244. Uh, again, certainly down over 100 pips. Okay, so again, helping the export side of the equation. Uh, again, like I said, EU European retail sales certainly came in stronger. Uh, unemployment uh, in Spain uh, certainly um, certainly came in stronger as well. Our employment data came in stronger. Uh, let's have a look here. U.S. trade balance. Your Canadian imports exports are, are coming through. U.S. Red Book ISM factory orders. Economic optimism. You've got the GDT auction as well today from Kiwi. Watch out for that. RBA held rates overnight. So nothing really of any major importance other than the fact that obviously you've got this healthcare bill and uh, certainly looking for a potential short squeeze in equity. So beware. Okay, now let's look at the actual technical picture. Now the German DAX certainly is coming into support there. You can see previous resistance equals support. The daily chart was a bearish engulfing candle. We'll see how long, uh, how much of a reversal that actually creates. Now the weekly chart, be aware, obviously you've got double top, so don't get too bullish on the German DAX. Uh, daily chart, again, you a doji for now, so certainly consolidating in terms of the, the vicious sell-off yesterday. Certainly bouncing now, previous resistance equals support. Bear in mind, you do have gap fill at 12,150 and 12,000, so 
Again, don't get too excited with the German DAX on the upside. We are seeing a rip in oil, by the way. Uh, bring up crude for you. Okay, crude oil certainly ripping higher at the moment. Okay, we've had a thrust from the pivot low here or horizontal support region. Okay, it'll be interesting to see how far how, how far this goes. If you move, if you break above 50.8, then certainly very bullish for equities in general. So bear that in mind. Okay, in terms of the German DAX as well now, looking to potentially bounce and pop. Okay, we'll see how high this pop can go. Certainly a double top has been registered for the morning. Okay, so again, looking for a rally now. Don't be surprised if you hit that 12, 200, 12, 300 level again. Potentially retest resistance up here. That'll be interesting to see how the market reacts. In terms of the French CAC, let's just look at the French CAC now as well. A uh, weekly chart of the French CAC at the moment. You still have resistance above, so certainly some room to move higher. A uh, daily chart of the French CAC it wasn't a bearish engulfing candle yesterday. It was more of an inside bar. So the bulls certainly remain intact there. Be, bear that in mind. 60 minute chart on the French CAC. You are now coming into potential support. Higher highs and higher lows still exist. So therefore, this deserves the benefit of the of the of the doubt. So bear that in mind. So it's a bull until obviously its horns are taken away. Okay. Now the uh, 10 minute chart. You have a falling or uh, ex expanding wedge type pattern. Uh, our double bottom support certainly has been put in. So therefore, you are looking for a reversal. Now, if you do reverse, and you are looking at potential resistance up here, 5100, and then you have resistance at 5110 potential resistance above as well so watch out for all the resistance zones above in terms of the FTSE 100 let's just bring up this chart for you daily chart certainly has held at 72 60 support so you've certainly held 72 60 after hours and 72 80 inside hours inside market hours bear in mind you do have the hns formation though 60 minute chart is a bull flag so again i'll certainly be in the bullish camp here looking to buy any retrace especially with the thrust higher in oil so watch out there as well in terms of the upside you do have a resistance at 7350 so any rally will certainly be capped at 7350 7370 and then obviously you've got 7385 so watch out for the rally on the FTSE 100 okay in terms of the uh, euro stocks now last but not least uh, 10 minute chart certainly building a base okay so looking to potentially thrust higher from here on that note i'll uh, give you an insight in terms of cfds.com uh, certainly a specialist and certainly take, uh, in terms of trading and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Also visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers and download the app from the Google Play and the App Store. Goodbye now.